Extreme weather causing havoc across the Upper South Island. Residents being told to stay at home. This is why. Widespread flooding in the Tasman region. Roads closed, including the state highways in and out of the area. The Marlborough District Council also declaring a state of emergency with the river bursting its banks. Meanwhile, in exactly that same area, Hello friends, we're at a uh, race today, a motocross race. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but since I got that WR a couple of months ago, which I really like by the way, I haven't really had much of a chance to ride it because there's a loud ass bike nearby. No, because um, I'm planning these big projects which I keep alluding to, I'm sure you guys will have noticed, and it's been taking up all of my time and I just haven't really had a chance to ride the thing, so in the three or so months that I've had it, I've put like, I think six hours on it, seven hours, something like that. And uh, this came up, an endurance motocross race. You've heard of 30 plus two. Well this is 180 plus two. And I just figured, even though I'm, even though I'm nowhere near fit enough to do that, if I try, I'll get a hell of a lot of seat time in on the new bike and that can't be a bad thing. So here we are, ready to suffer three hours in a motocross track. I've ridden maybe a handful of times, like probably can count them on one hand in the last 12 months, so I'm severely out of shape. But look, we have a couple of things working our way. That is firstly that the WR has a fuel light, so there won't be any guesswork in the refueling, and it's got a secret weapon. But I'm not gonna reveal what that is. You'll know it when you see it, all right? Just rest assured that it's gonna be a game changer. Anyway, I'm going to continue gearing up and then we'll see you naughty boys out on the track. I'd set myself somewhat of a personal challenge to complete the whole three hours and do it at a reasonable pace. But it wasn't going to be easy. Torrential downpour on top of usually hard, dry and rocky terrain surely meant that we were in for a slippery ride. And the look lap was only proof of that. Multiple soil samples had already been taken by the time we reached the line and I had a feeling they wouldn't be the last. Alright, so it's a nerve wracking bit to start. I've sort of got to keep my goggles off for this because the parents I won't be able to see shit. They are already covered in rain. And then things got even worse. Oh great, here's a quad bike. All I could do though was look away and try not to vomit because the race was about to begin. 30 seconds! Spray and walk away. into a good rhythm and was catching back up to some over enthusiastic starters. Time to bust out the secret weapon. Oh yes! And it was frightening. Just 
Just look at how this man starts overshooting all the corners when I hit him with the pre pre. I really started to hit my stride and began clawing back a lot of positions. Ding, dead, head, bed, broken. Just having a hoot. Or just having a hoot. I was having a hoot, all right. Sometimes, though, it looked more like I'd had a hooter. But I was hardly the only one struggling. The ultra slippery terrain was claiming plenty. Just listen to how patient I'm having to be on the throttle in this next clip. still sliding out despite my best efforts. These conditions were brutal. started making a terrible noise so I brought it into the pits where just as quickly as it started it stopped again I was making a real loud winding sound before whining yeah Is it, it you... stopped again I like stopped and it, it was like it was something rubbing do you think Whatever it was, it seemed to have sorted itself out now. So I had a quick bite to eat whilst Kynan helped me refuel. Cheers, boy. And then I got back out there. and bikes alike were starting to drop like flies now and I'd entered a sort of mid-race haze where all my laps just seemed to blur together into one and I kept plugging away completely in the zone. descended over the place. Spectators were talking amongst themselves and half the field had quit by this point. So when I was sure that nobody would be looking, I set the quad bike on fire. <laughs> Mm. 
there were definitely some faster guys out there. But they'd all been having extended smokos, whereas I'd been spinning laps the whole time. Believe it or not, by this point, I was leading the race. That brought me back down to earth though, literally. Fatigue was starting to set in big time now, but I must have been miles ahead and there was only about 30 minutes left to go. I just needed to ride this thing out. As you can see here though, I was bloody tired. be damned if I wasn't going to battle through it. I had a goal. So, on I pushed. Just 10 minutes remaining, a first for me. I was the last man standing. There are multiple ways we could choose to interpret my being the only one to finish. On the one hand, you could say that I was the only weirdo stupid enough to take a three hour motocross race seriously and actually complete the whole thing. Or... Just as the fuel light came on, eh? Am I the last one left? Yeah. What a legend. And why not? Got to take what you can get. No, seriously. I put the win down to, and we are claiming this is a win. Uh, Radiator fan. I can hear that. Keeping the old girl cool. I reckon if it didn't have that, it should be boiling and we'd be off home early. And I can't get my helmet undone and I can't see. I need help. I was pretty shattered. So Nicola aided me with my lid and slowly I set about gearing down. Not helped by her decision to then become extremely awkward. Should I be like a, a real vlogger? Same. What's up for you boys and girls? What's up? Say hi. They all just turn around as soon as they open the camera. They're like, what's up there? They're just clearing the cringe blast right here. <laughs> and as we know, it'd be illegal not to give a blow-by-blow -blow recount of any crashes you might have had. When you come into the bog area and you come slowing down for the hip and corner in it, mm -hmm. there was like sticks on the ground. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I crashed, like I washed the front, I'm like, oh, f going right down. Sticks, like just directly where I was landing. And I was like, my arm was going out like this, I'm like, this is going to hurt. And I like, it must have landed like that, like just yeah. over the top of it, it was so lucky. Until next time though guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my little video of this race. If it is something you'd like to see more of, then consider throwing a bit of support our way over at the Patreon linked below. It just helps out with the cost of making them. Anyway, cheers.